Hello and welcome to episode number two of a boyhood dream. In the first game, in the first episode, we played Sheffield United, and it was a good 2-0 victory. J. Emmanuel Thomas with both the goals there, and it was a memorable day for Joe Bryan. He became the youngest player in the league, apparently, but I think that's a, a little bit premature because we played on the Friday night, so our youngest player got that one. Luke Ayling had a debut to remember, so supporters have been keen to see what he had to offer, and he did offer an assist, put the ball through for J. Emmanuel Thomas. Post-match press conference, we'll uh, see what they can say. Substituting J-Man in the hat trick, he was based on my brows, he can't be happy at that decision. There was really nothing. Everyone enjoyed Emmanuel Thomas's goal, shot from distance, it must have been fantastic to see you go. He's capable of that. J. Emmanuel Thomas gave you an early lead. Did you feel it would be a good day for your side when you saw that one go in? Um, calm. Early goal was always helpful. He got pleased with the result. I thought he played well. Luke Freeman was in fine form. He's played very well. A win in your first competitive game. Very pleased with the win. The rumours you're still marking another player. Happy with the squad I've got. So Emmanuel Thomas, these Bristol City fans purring after fine display. J. Emmanuel Thomas, best player on the park. His two goals were very good. Nine rating as well, so he did well there. We're away to Southend United for the second game. Ah, the rest of the League One are playing today, so let's see what results come in from those. Some results coming in now I saw there. Here we go. Barnsley nil, Crawley nil, Bradford nil, Coventry one. Colchester have beaten Oldham 2 1. Fleetwood 2 crew nil. Leighton Orient 2 Chesterford nil. MK Dons have had a good start there. They've won 3 1 against Gillingham. Port Vale 3 0 winners against Walsall. Preston and Notts County fought out 1 1 draw. Rochdale 1 Peterborough nil. Swindon 2 0 winners against Scunthorpe. And Joe Vaught and Doncaster with a 2 2. That's quite interesting the last five minutes there. Ugu scored in the 87th minute and Coppinger with an 89th minute equaliser. So, drama at Hewish Park there in the last five minutes. Jose Antonio Reyes has signed for Everton. Shea Given has signed for Liverpool from Aston Villa. That's a bit of a strange transfer. 300,000. We've got the 15.75 million deal Jan Vertonghen, Tottenham to Man United. Ashley Williams went to, from Swansea to Liverpool for 3.2, so some money being thrown around in the in the uh, English game. Sky back we can preview. South end. Attacking movement. Okay, we'll do that then. Got to see what the team's like. Might make a couple of changes. For the cup game, we'll have a look. Don't make any of my players available for the old uh, under 21s last season started, if I can really avoid it. See how some of the ones who were struggling before were. Premier League season hasn't started yet, so some of them have got friendly, so there we go. A lot of games we play in the Capital One Cup. Super delicate team selection. That's Alien. 88%. 86% Flint. Wilbraham. 84%. Wilbraham is getting on a bit though now. So. Wilbraham is pleased with my comments. So that's good to see. Got Agard on the bench as well, so I think I'll stick with the same team, you know. Give it a go. See what happens. Sky Sports News anticipate a nervy game will most likely go to penalties. 
interesting. Even though we're away, I would hope we'd have the quality to beat these guys, but we shall see. Um, assertive. Going to pick up where they left off in the last game, that'd be nice. So here we go. Cap also one cap action. Wagstaff staff getting a foot in there, nice and early. Free kick for Freeman just outside the area. Freeman don't seem too special on free kicks. I might take him off those in a minute. A long ball of field from Southend's goalkeeper. Freeman does well though, setting up people in real life and on football manager, it looks like. Wilbraham. Back to Corey Smith. Bit of I was a little bit disappointed with Wilbraham, to be fair, in the Sheffield United game. Didn't think he really made an impact, but. Emmanuel Thomas, oh, Wilbraham's in here. Oh. Like saved by the keeper there. He's taking this corner. Freeman's going to whip it in. Six yard box headed away by Southend. And as far as Corey Smith. Back inside for Derek Williams. Emmanuel Thomas. Oh, Wagstaff. Not quite going to get the chance there. Let's go out for a throw in. Wilbraham has apparently taken a knock. I don't think I could give Wilbraham. I might give him an hour today. I think I could give him a little bit of a rest. Got a game against Colchester, I think I saw on Saturday, so that'd be the main priority for me. Freeman's done well there. Oh, Freeman's gone past two. Wilbraham back to Freeman. Go on, Lukey. Good ball in for Emmanuel Thomas. Wilbraham one touch. Now shoots. Stays going to play out left to Joe Bryan. First time, Wilbraham's there. Oh, that's a good goal from Wilbraham. That's a great finish. First goal of the season. Played it across to Bryan. And Bryan put a great ball in. And Wilbraham finished it off. So Bristol City won the lap here against Southend in the Capital and Cup. Great start to it. You see Wilbraham there. Throw him out by the shot. But instead, played it out left to Joe Bryan. First time, ball in. Wilbraham beat all the defenders until the back of the net they went. So Brian has he's already got one assist. Plays it for Freeman. Freeman into Emmanuel Thomas. Emmanuel Thomas has still goes out of nothing, but this time it's to be Freeman just wide. Not oh, far away from Luke Freeman. 32 minutes on the clock. Long ball, but it's found Cassidy. Williams with a foot in. Worrell. Cassidy, Atkinson, good balls, Flint's done well there. Jet, I don't want him really playing that far in, in his own half, but Wagstaff did well to keep that in. Freeman, go on Luke. Oh, Cunningham's free, go on, have a shot. Oh yes, it's 2 0. Greg Cunningham, fantastic goal. That's what I saw, but I see 2-0, 33 minutes on the clock, so Freeman it was, with the ball out to Cunningham, that's Freeman's, it's never assist for Freeman, but I think Southend keeper, I thought we could do a bit better with that, but in the back of the net, 2-0 to Bristol City already. Freeman out left, we are really getting, what our goal seems to be coming from this left hand side, oh go on Cunningham, Oh. One minute of our time. Oh yeah, at half time it is 2-0. Very good first half. I'm quite impressed with that. Anything we'd say now would just overcomplicate things. Had the lads out there that's saying anything extra. 
Fair enough. So, Joe Bride and Nick Freeman with assists. Goals for Greg Cunningham and the first one from Alan Wilbraham. So, not doing too badly. Greg Cunningham 7.3. Got Wilbraham 7.2. Joe Bryan 7.2. Everyone's playing it pretty well. Lowest rating. Derek Williams again with a 6.3. But, not too bad. Start the second half of the goal would be nice. <laughs> In fact, Joe Bryan is down there. Good ball. Cut out by the South End defence there. South End are League 2 opponents. Oh. Cassidy. Out left to Binom Williams. Now they've got a free kick with Hurst. Ooh. Not a bad effort. 51 minutes, they're making the substitution. I think I'm going to give Wilbraham a bit of a rest and bring Agard on. Just to freshen things up a little bit in a minute. See what happens here though first. Wilbraham to Cunningham. Oh, that's going into the bottom corner there. Went far off the mark. Oh, Wagstaff out right. First sign ball. Oh, it's a bad pull, but... Mayo Thomas can't quite take advantage. I'm going to make that sub now. Wilbraham, 69%. He's a little bit tired. Give Agard a bit of a, a run out. Make that substitution for now. Is that just over an hour? Cunningham. Freeman. On that left hand side again, played into Cunningham. Oh, Freeman's out back. Let's put it in. This is Emmanuel Thomas and Agard. Oh, Emmanuel Thomas is header. 3 0. That's a good day, Emmanuel Thomas. A third goal in two games. Lovely cross. And Emmanuel Thomas just heads it in. So it looks like Bristol City are well and truly on their way through now. Is that Freeman again with the assist? No, it's Cunningham. So Cunningham scored and an assist. Emmanuel Thomas. Key, don't know what the keeper was doing there, nowhere near it. J. Emmanuel Thomas makes it 3 0. Oh, Southam out of a chance here. Oh, that's a good finish. Very good finish there from Laurel. He hit that well. So, Frank Ford is not going to get his clean sheet bonus this time. Atkinson played it in. Well, I took too much space there for my liking, but can't argue with the shot. Power is it in. 3 1. It's probably a bit late for Southend to do anything about it now. 68 minutes on the clock. They get another one, though. It could be quite tense. So, Brian playing left back. Squares it to Williams. Corey Smith, Freeman, Emmanuel Thomas. Emmanuel Thomas always little twists and turns. Freeman, Cunningham. Oh, Cunningham's done him. Go on, there you go. Have a shot. Oh, Emmanuel Thomas for four. Oh, Emmanuel Thomas. He's on fire. He's on absolute fire, this boy. Four goals in two games. J. Emmanuel Thomas makes it 4 0. With 20 minutes to go, Cunningham nutmegs his man. Agar with a nice little pass to Emmanuel Thomas. And Emmanuel Thomas, a simple task really, of burying it from 12 yards out. Bristol City 4-1 up in this Capital One Cup game. Oh, Emmanuel Thomas has beaten him in the side tackle, but not quite going to get there, unfortunately. I want to see him get a hat-trick. That'd be good. But that's four goals in two games for Jet. Oh, bad head. It's missed the header there. Good, good tackle from Williams. 
Long range effort. Oh, Fulton's wants to make a save there. Oh, Fulton's wants to make another save there. Go on, Agard. Oh, Agard's saving his marker standing. Can't quite do anything with that. I'm gonna make another change. Who else needs a bit of a break? 67, 66. Flint. I'm gonna give Flint a rest and put Osborne on. Corey Smith. I'm gonna have wait Eddie at have a bit of play. Give them 20 minutes each. play from Williams. Williams seems to be struggling in the first couple of games. Although 7.1 it's not playing too badly. One minute by the time. Should be it now then. Williams left to Brian. Cunningham. No foul given. Warrell plays it for Deegan. There we go. Comprehensive victory for us there. 4-1. That is a great result. So, goals from... Two from J. Emmanuel Thomas. The first one from Wilbraham and one from Cunningham. Assist. One for Joe Bryan. One for Cunningham. One for Freeman. So, team playing pretty well that game. I've got to say, they were good. Player of the match, Greg Cunningham played at 8.9. Goal and assist. Freeman another 8 as well with his assist. 18 shots, 10 on target. So we'll now have a look. See what's gone on. Any other big shocks? Burton have beaten Barnes. He won nil. Blackpool have had three men sent off in that local derby against Fleetwood. They've lost 2-1. O'Day was sent off. McMahon and Farouse. So, yeah, not the best of days for Blackpool in that local derby. Three men sent off. Born with three, Wickham one from a Bristol City striker, Brett Pittman on the score sheet there. Uh, is there anything else? Crawley of League 1 are beating Championship side Brentford 2 1. Is Alma Cloud and wants the goals there? Doncaster 4, Shrewsbury 1. That's a bit of a high scoring game. Cambridge are beating Leighton Orient 1 0. John Slew with a the goal there. See if there's anything else which shouts out at the moment. Nothing in particular at the moment. Cardiff 2 0 winners there. Reading we got just 2 1. Swindon being at Esther 3 0. They've had a good start to the season. Warsaw 4 Luton 0. That's another quite big score. Chesterfield beat Wigan on penalties after a 2 2 game. Quite a few goals at Hewish Park again. Yeovil 5, Coventry 4. So there's seen a lot of goals at Yeovil at the moment. Let's have a look and see what the uh, season ticket sells. They sold 8,500 season tickets. Bristol City players named in Team of the Week. So we've got Jet, Luke Freeman and Luke Ayling. Player of the match, Greg Cunningham, as we know, 4-1. Bristol City win in the second round, in the first round. Cunningham impresses for Bristol City. Here we go, second round draw. Some big teams coming in now. So, let's watch the draw live then. 52 teams left to draw. First tie is... Swindon Town at home too, Derby County. Sheffield United are at home for Bramall Lane. They're going to play Bolton Wanderers of the Championship. 
Watford, they'll have a home tie at Vicarage Road against Rotherham. Or Championship tie there. Bournemouth, they're at home. They'll play Millwall. Burton now in the League 2, they're at home. And they will take on Leicester City of the Premier League. So Burton have Leicester travelling over to Burton Albion. Doncaster Rovers at home. They're going to play Burnley in the Premier League. So another Premier League team drawn away from home. Nottingham Forest of the Championship. They're going to be at home at the City Ground against Rochdale. Bradford City. They're going to be at home against Aston Villa. So Bradford City against Aston Villa. Sunderland. So the first Premier League side to get a home draw. And they're going to play Chesterfield. Newcastle United at home. So Newcastle at St James's Park. And they're going to play Yeovil Town. So Yeovil got a good little draw there. Put Newcastle United for the second round. Portsmouth, they're at League 2. They're going to be at home at Fratton Park against Middlesbrough. West Ham United, the Hammers, at Upton Park for the second round. And they're going to be playing against Wolves. So we quite a tasty game. West Ham versus Wolves. Fulham are at home. So Fulham have a home tie at Craven Cottage against Notts County. Southampton are at home. They're going to play Charlton Athletic. 24 teams left in the draw. Ipswich Town, they're going to be playing at home at Portman Road. Against Mansfield Town or Sheffield Wednesday. He must be playing tomorrow. Blackburn Rovers or Oldham Athletic. The winners of that game will have a home tie against Championship side Reading. Fleetwood Town are going to be at home in Lancashire. And they're going to take on Crystal Palace. So Crystal Palace will be travelling to Fleetwood. Crawley Town are at home. And they are going to be against Queen's Park Rangers. Still some quite big teams left in this draw. West Bromwich Albion. They're going to be home at the Hawthorns. And they're going to play Walsall. So that's the West Midlands derby there. West Brom versus Walsall. Six ties left. Peterborough United. They're going to be at home at London Road. And they're going to play Leeds United. So Leeds travelling to London Road. Norwich City. They're going to be at home at Carrow Road. And they are going to take on Birmingham City. So no championship tie there. Still got eight teams left in the draw. I'm one of them. And there's the uh, Swansea, Man United, Stoke still in the draw, Cardiff. Some quite big teams in there. Cambridge United. They are going to be at home to Swansea City. Still some big teams in there. We haven't been drawn out yet. MK Dons of League One. They're going to be at home. Must be a tough draw if we get those. Stoke City. Oh, it's going to be big. It's either Cardiff, a seven side derby, Preston, and Man United. Preston North End are at home and they're going to play Man United. So it's going to be a big seven-side derby. Looking forward to this one. And it's going to be at Ashton Gate. Bristol City against Cardiff City in the second round of the Capital One Cup. Now that is going to be a sight to see. Cardiff City travelling to Ashton Gate. I think that is a quite good time to end the episode. But Cardiff City are going to be travelling to Ashton Gate for the seven-side derby. I am thoroughly looking forward to that one. Thank you for watching the second episode of A Boyhood Dream. And in the next one will be the Colchester United game.